A business jet, private jet, or bizjet is a jet aircraft designed for transporting small groups of people. Business jets may be adapted for other roles, such as the evacuation of casualties or express parcel deliveries, and some are used by public bodies, government officials or the armed forces. History 1950s First flight The Lockheed Jet Star, seating 10 passengers and two crew, first flew on 4 September 1957. A total of 204 aircraft were produced from 1957 to 1978 powered by several different engines, four 3,300 pounds force 15 kilonewtons Pratt & Whitney JT-12 turbojets, then Garrett TFE-731 turbofans for a 44,500 pounds MTOW, then two General Electric CF-700 turbofans. The smaller, 17,760 pounds MTOW North American Sabreliner first flew on 16 September 1958. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney JT-12 turbojet engines then Garrett TFE-731s, more than 800 were produced from 1959 to 1982. 1960s First flight The 25,000 pounds MTOW British Aerospace 125 first flew on 13 August 1962 as the de Havilland DH.125, powered by two 3,000 pounds force 13 kilonewtons Armstrong Siddeley Viper turbojets. Its engines were replaced by Garrett TFE 731s, then Pratt & Whitney Canada PW300 turbofans. Almost 1,700 aircraft of all variants, including the Hawker 800, were produced between 1962 and 2013. The Aero Commander 1121 Jet Commander, which later became the IAI Westwind, first flew on 27 January 1963, powered by two General Electric CJ610 turbojets, then Garrett TFE-731s. Production of Jet Commanders and Westwinds from 1965 to 1987 came to 442 aircraft, and it was developed as the IAI Astra, later rebranded as the Gulfstream G100. The 29,000 pounds MOTW Dassault Falcon 20 first flew on 4 May 1963, powered by two General Electric CF 700s, then Garrett ATF 3 turbofans and Garrett TFE 731s. A total of 508 were built from 1963 to 1988, and it is the basis of the Dassault Falcon family. The first light jet first flew on 7 October 1963, the Learjet 23. Powered by two 2,850 lb force General Electric CJ610s, its 12,500 lb MTOW complies with FAR Part 23 regulations. The first member of the Learjet family, 104 were built between 1962 and 1966. The forward wing sweep, 20,280 pounds MOTW Hamburger Flugzubai HFB 320 Hansa jet first flew on 21 April 1964, powered by two General Electric CJ610s, 47 were built between 1965 and 1973. The joint Piago Douglas, 18,000 pounds MOTW Piaggio PD.808 first flew on 29 August 1964, powered by two Armstrong Siddeley Vipers, 24 were built for the Italian Air Force. 
On 2 October 1966 the first large business jet first flew, the 65,500 lb MTOW Grumman Gulfstream II, powered by two 11,400 lb force Rolls-Royce Spey turbofans. From 1967 to the late 70s, 258 were built and it led to the ongoing Gulfstream Aerospace Long Range family. The 11,850 lb MTOW Cessna Citation I first flew on 15 September 1969, powered by two 2,200 lb force Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15D turbofans. Produced between 1969 and 1985 for a total of 689 examples, it is the first of the Cessna Citation family. Topic: 1970s first flight. The Trijet Dassault Falcon 50 made its first flight on the 7th of November 1976. The 40,000 pounds AT&T MTOW airplane is powered by three 3,700 pounds force, 16 kilonewtons TFE 731 engines. With the cross section of the Falcon 20, it is the basis of the larger Falcon 900. On 8 November 1978, the prototype Canadair Challenger took off. The 43,000 to 48,000 pounds 20 to 22 t MTOW craft, usually powered by two 9,200 pounds force 41 kilonewtons General Electric CF-34s, formed the basis of the long-range Bombardier Global Express family and of the Bombardier CRJ regional airliners. The 1,000th Challenger entered service in 2015. On 30 May 1979 the clean sheet 22,000 pounds MTOW Cessna Citation III took off for the first time, powered by two 3,650 pounds force .2 kN TFE 731s. The Mitsubishi Mu 300 Diamond made its first flight on 29 August 1978. The 16,100 pounds (7.3 t) MTOW jet was powered by two 2,900 pounds force (13 kilonewtons) JT-15D. The design was later sold and was renamed Beachjet 400, then Hawker 400, with a total of 950 produced of all variants. Topic. 1980s first flight The 1980s only saw the introduction of derivatives and no major new designs. Also there was an advent of fractional ownership in the late 1980s for business jets. Topic: 1990s first flight The first flight of the clean sheet Learjet 45 was on 7 October 1995. All of the 642 aircraft built since then have been powered by two 3,500 pounds force TFE 731 engines. Powered by two 2,300 pounds force 10 kilonewtons Williams FJ44s, the 12,500 pounds 5.7 t Beechcraft Premier I light jet made its first flight on the 22nd of December 1998. Nearly 300 had been made before production stopped in 2013. 2000s first flight in the opposite way compared to Bombardier, which developed airliners from a business jet, Embraer derived the legacy 600 from the Embraer ERJ family of regional jet airliners. 
powered by two 8,800 pounds force 39.2 kilonewtons Rolls-Royce Air 3007s, the first flight of the 50,000 pounds 22.5 t aircraft was on the 31st of March 2001. On 14 August 2001, the Bombardier Challenger 300 made its first flight. The 38,850 lb aircraft is powered by two 6,825 lb force HTF 7000s. The 500th example was delivered in 2015. The first very light jet, the 5,950 lb MTOW Eclipse 500, took off for the first time on 26 August 2002, powered by two 900 lb force 4.0 kN, Pratt & Whitney Canada PW600s. Between then and the end of production in 2008, 260 were produced. It was followed by the 8,645 pounds (3.921 t) MTOW Cessna Citation Mustang on the 23rd of April 2005, powered by two 1,460 pounds force (6.5 kilonewtons) Pratt and Whitney Canada PW600s, and with more than 450 produced. Then the Embraer Phenom 100 made its maiden flight on 26 July 2007. The 10,500 pounds MTOW airplane is powered by two 1,600 pounds force Pratt & Whitney Canada PW600s. With its Phenom 300 development, nearly 600 have been built. Topic 2010's first flight. The first flight of the mid-size fly-by-wire 7000 lbf 31 kilonewtons Honeywell HTF 7000 powered Embraer Legacy 500 was on the 27th of November 2012. It was followed by the shorter Legacy 450 on the 28th of December 2013. Topic: New models. After peaking in 2008, deliveries slowed due to political instability, but the industry hopes to revive demand by introducing more attractive and competitive new models. For in 2018, the 7,400 nmi (13,700 range Bombardier Global 7000 large cabin jet, before the 7,900 nmi (14,600 Global 8000 in 2019. The 5,200 nmi (9,600 km) large cabin Gulfstream G500, replacing the Gulfstream G450, then the longer 6,500 nmi (12,000 km) G600, eventually superseding the G550. The 3,500 nmi (6,500 km). Cessna Citation Longitude Super Midsize Jet The Superlight Pilatus PC-24, in October 2018, Consultant Jetcraft expected 20 variants or new designs to enter service before 2023 7 large, 7 midsize and 6 small in 2019 the Global 5500 and 6500, Gulfstream G600, Citation XLS++ and a Citation Jet CJ4+, while the Embraer Pretor 500 and 600 to be introduced in 2019 were predicted for 2021-2022. In 2020 a Gulfstream G750, in 2021 the Dassault Falcon 6X, Learjet 70XR, 75XR and Global 7500XR 
In 2022 the Bombardier Challenger 350XRS In 2023 the Citation Hemisphere, an Embraer Legacy 700, Phenom 100 V Plus, Dassault Falcon 9X, Bombardier Challenger 750 and Gulfstream G400NG in 2025 a Citation Mustang II Plus. Topic: Configuration. Though the early Lockheed Jetstar had four, most production business jets have two jet engines, mostly rear-mounted potted engine. If mounted below their low wing, it wouldn't allow sufficient engine clearance without a too long landing gear. The Honda Jet is the exception with its over-the-wing engine pods. Dassault Aviation still builds three engine models derived from the Dassault Falcon 50, and the very light jet market has seen several single-engine design concepts and the introduction of the Cirrus Vision SF50 in 2016. Rolls-Royce PLC powers over 3,000 business jets, 42% of the fleet, all the Gulfstreams and Bombardier Globals, the Cessna Citation X and Embraer Legacy 600, early Hawkers, and many small jets with the Williams Rolls FJ44. <laughs> Market Topic. Fleet About 70% of the fleet was in North America at the end of 2011. The European market is the next largest, with growing activity in the Middle East, Asia, and Central America. On 1 April 2017, there were 22,368 business jets in the worldwide fleet, of which 11.2% were for sale. By October 2018, the 20,831 jet fleet was dominated by Textron with 43.9%, then Bombardier with 22.4%, Gulfstream with 13.0%, Dassault with 9.6% and Embraer with 5.8%, mostly in North America 64.6%, followed by Europe 13.0%, South America 12.1% and Asia Pacific 5.9%. Topic: Market shares. In 2015, the total airplane billing amounted to $21.9 billion, and 718 business jets were delivered to customers across the globe. 199, 27.7% by Bombardier Aerospace, 166, 23.1% by Cessna, 154, 21.4% by Gulfstream Aerospace, 120, 16. 16.7% by Embraer and 55 7 .7 by Dassault Aviation. In 2017, 676 business jets were shipped, led by Gulfstream with $6.56 billion for 120 aircraft, Bombardier with $5.2 billion for 140, Cessna with $2.87 billion including propeller aircraft and 180 jets, Su with $2.42 billion for 49 and Embraer with $1.35 billion for 109. <inaudible> Second hand The residual value level for a five-year-old aircraft is at 56% of the list price. A new business aircraft depreciates by 50% in five years before depreciation flattens between years 10 and 15, and the owner of a 15 to 20 year old aircraft is often the last. Matching luxury cars, business jets have varying value retention. Between the leading Embraer Phenom 300E, sold for $9.45 million in 2018 and expected to retain 68% of its value 15 
15 years later for $6.46 million in 2033, and the trailing $24.5 million Gulfstream G280, predicted to retain 42% of its value for $10.25 million. Topic forecasts In October 2017 Jetcraft forecast 8,349 unit deliveries in the next decade for $252 billion, a $30.20 M average. Cessna should lead the numbers with 27.3% of the deliveries ahead of Bombardier with 20.9%, while Gulfstream would almost lead the revenue market share with 27.8% trailing Bombardier with 29.2%. For 2016 to 2025, Jetcraft forecast Pratt and Whitney Canada should be the first engine supplier with 30% of the $24 billion revenue, in front of the current leader Rolls Royce at 25%. Honeywell will hold 45% of the $16 billion in avionics revenue ahead of Rockwell Collins with 37% and Garmin. For 2019 to 2028, Honeywell predicts 7,700 aircraft to be delivered for $251 billion. Its breakdown is 62% big, 87% in value, super midsize to business liner, 10% midsize, 7% in value, light medium to medium, and 28% small, 6% in value. The global demand is expected to come from North America for 61%, 16% from Europe, 12% from Latin America, 7% from Asia Pacific, and 4% from Middle East and Africa. For the next decade, Aviation Week predicts 8,683 business jets and 2,877 turboprops deliveries, from 792 jets in 2019 to 900. 117 in 2028, and mostly in North America with 5,986 jets and 2,024 turboprops worth $126.1 billion. Most value will come from ultra-long-range jets with $104.7 billion, followed by super midsize jets for $33.3 billion and large jets for $30.6 billion. The fleet was predicted to grow from 31,300 aircraft to nearly 35,600 with Textron Aviation leading the market with 25% of deliveries worth $32.1 billion. For the decade starting in 2018, 22,190 engine deliveries were forecast including several turboprop engine models, led by the Honeywell HTF-7000, Williams FJ-44 and Pratt & Whitney Canada PW300. The average utilization was forecast to be 365 flight hours per aircraft per year. Topic engines built by Pratt & Whitney Canada, variants of the 4700-8000 lbf 21-36 kN PW300 power the Dassault Falcon 7X and Dassault Falcon 8X trijets and Dassault Falcon 2000 twinjet the 10,000 to 20,000 lbf 45 to 89 kilonewtons PW800 was launched in 2008 but was selected for the Cessna Citation Columbus cancelled a year after it was then chosen for the Gulfstream G500, G600 launched in 2014 and due to enter service in 2018-2019, and picked in 2018 for the Dassault Falcon 6X 2021 first flight. The 12,000 lbf 53 kN Safran Silvercrest was rejected for the cancelled Falcon 5X, it is still selected for the Cessna Citation Hemisphere, but the aircraft development is suspended until the turbofan is perfected. GE Aviation produces the 10,000 to 20,000 lbf 44 to 89 kilonewtons passport for the Bombardier Global 7500 due to enter service in 2018 
and is developing an engine for the supersonic Arian AS-2. Rolls-Royce PLC was revealed as the engine supplier for the Global 5500 and 6500s with the Rolls-Royce Pearl 15, an improved BR710 resembling the Gulfstream G650's BR725. The AE3007C powered Cessna Citation X Plus is near its production end. The Honeywell HTF 7700L replaced the Silvercrest for the Citation Longitude, due to enter service in 2018, and already powers the Bombardier Challenger 300 and 350, Gulfstream G280, and Embraer Legacy 450 500s. Its 3,500 to 5,000 lbf (16 to 22 kilonewtons) TFE 731 powers the Learjet 7075s and Dassault Falcon 900LX. Williams International's FJ44 powers the Pilatus PC24, launched in 2013 and introduced in early 2018, the Nextant 400 XTI and the in-development Cyberjet SJ30i, as well as the Cessna Citation CJ3 Plus, 4, while the smaller FJ33 powers the Cirrus Vision SF50 single-engine business jet. Topic. Operators There are three basic types of operators that own, manage and operate private jets. Topic. Flight departments Flight departments are corporate-owned operators that manage the aircraft of a specific company. Ford Motor Company, Chrysler, and Ultria are examples of companies that own, maintain and operate their own fleet of private aircraft for their employees. Flight departments handle all aspects of aircraft operation and maintenance. In the United States, flight department aircraft operate under FAR 91 operating rules. A 2010 study by the United States National Business Aviation Association found that small and midsize companies that use private jets produce a 219% higher earnings growth rate than those that strictly use airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Charter companies Charter operators own or manage private jets for multiple clients. Like traditional flight departments, charter companies handle all aspects of aircraft operation and maintenance. However, they are not aligned with just one corporation. They manage aircraft for a private owner or corporation and also handle the sales of available flight time on the aircraft they own or manage. Maintenance services can also be provided. In the United States, business aircraft may be operated under either FAR 91 as private operations for the business purposes of the owner, or under FAR 135 of the Federal Aviation Regulations as commercial operations for the business purposes of a third party. One common arrangement for operational flexibility purposes is for the aircraft's owner to operate the aircraft under FAR 91 when needed for its own purposes, and to allow a third-party charter manager to operate it under FAR 135 when the aircraft is needed for the business purposes of third parties such as for other entities within the corporate group of the aircraft's owner. Aircraft charter brokers have entered the marketplace through the ease of setting up a website and business online. Aircraft charter operators are legally responsible for the safe operation of aircraft and charter brokers require no economic authority and are largely unregulated. The Department of Transportation requires that air charter brokers disclose to the consumer that they do not operate aircraft and cannot use terms like, "...our fleet of aircraft", "...we operate", our charter service", and others. 
Topic: <laughs> Fractional ownership. Since 1996 the term fractional jet has been used in connection with business aircraft owned by a consortium of companies. Under such arrangements, overhead costs such as flight crew, hangarage and maintenance are split among the users. Fractional ownership of aircraft involves an individual or corporation that pays an upfront equity share for the cost of an aircraft. If four parties are involved, a partner would pay one-fourth of the aircraft price a quarter share. That partner is now an equity owner in that aircraft and can sell the equity position if necessary. This also entitles the new owner to a certain number of hours of flight time on that aircraft, or any comparable aircraft in the fleet. Additional fees include monthly management fees and incidentals such as catering and ground transportation. In the United States, fractional ownership operations may be regulated by either FAA Part 91 or Part 135. Topic surveillance with smaller equipment Long range business aircraft can be modified as surveillance aircraft to perform specialized missions cost effectively, from ground surveillance to maritime patrol. The 99,500 pounds, 45,100 kilograms, 6,000 nmi Bombardier Global 6000 is the platform for the USAF Northrop Grumman E 11A Battlefield Airborne Communications Node. The radar carrying ground surveillance Raytheon Sentinel for the UK Royal Air Force, and Saab's Global IAEW and C carrying its Aero IAESA radar as UK's Marshall ADG basis for Elant, SIGINT for the United Arab Emirates. It is also the base for the proposed Saab AB Swordfish MPA and the USAF Lockheed Martin J Stars Recap Battlefield Surveillance Program, while IAI's Eli 336. 60 MPA is based on the Global 5000, the 91,000 pounds, 41,000 kilograms, 6,750 nmi Gulfstream G550 was selected for the IAIL W2085 conformal airborne early warning AESA radar for Italy, Singapore, and Israel, which also has IAI SIGINT G550s, while L3 Technologies transfers the US. Compass Call Electronic Attack System to the G550 CAEW based EC 37B, like the NC 37B range support aircraft, and will modify others for Australia's AISREW program. Northrop Grumman proposes the G550 for the J STARS recap. Dassault Aviation developed the Falcon 900 MPA and Falcon 2000 maritime multirole aircraft for. France, which delayed its AVSIMA requirement, South Korea, and the Japan Coast Guard with a mission system developed with L3 and Thales Group. Embraer delivered several EMB 145s as a platform for AEW and C, MPA, and multi intelligence. Classes <laughs> 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 Business jets can be categorized according to their size. Topic: <inaudible> Very light jets. The very light jet (VLJ) is a classification initiated by the release of the Eclipse 500 on the 31st of December 2006, which was originally available at around $1.5 million cheaper than existing business jets and comparable with turboprop aircraft. It accompanied a bubble for air taxi services, exemplified by Dayjet which ceased operations on September 2008. Eclipse Aviation failed to sustain its business model and filed for bankruptcy in February 2009. Cessna simultaneously developed the Citation Mustang, a six-place twinjet two crew plus four passengers, followed by the Embraer Phenom 100 and the Honda Jet. 
They have a maximum takeoff weight lighter than the FAR Part 23 12,500 pounds limit, and are approved for single pilot operation. They typically accommodate 5 to 7 passengers over a 965 nmi average range, with a $3.6 million mean price. Some VLJs such as the Eclipse and Mustang have no or limited lavatory facilities. <laughs> Light jets Light jets have been a staple of the business jet industry since the advent of the Learjet 23 in the early 1960s. They provide access to small airports and the speed to be an effective air travel tool. Aircraft of this class include Beechcraft Premier Cessna Citation Jet, CJ-1, 2 thirds Cessna Citation II, Bravo, Ultra, Encore Hawker 400 Learjet 31 Learjet 40 Embraer Phenom 300 They typically accommodate 6 to 8 passengers over a 1953 NMI average range, with a $9.1 million mean price. Mid-size jets These aircraft are suitable for longer-range travel such as transcontinental flights and for travel with larger passenger capacity requirements. Aircraft of this class include Citation XL, XLS Plus Hawker 800 and 750 859 1000 Learjet 45 Learjet 60, they typically accommodate nine passengers over a 1890 NMI average range, with a $15 million mean price. <laughs> Super midsize jets Super midsize jets feature wide body cabin space, high altitude capability, speed, and long range. These jets combine transatlantic capability with the speed and comfort of a wide body, high altitude aircraft. Aircraft of this class include Bombardier Challenger 300 and 350 Cessna Citation Sovereign. Cessna Citation X Dassault Falcon 50 Gulfstream G200, G250 Hawker 4000 They typically accommodate 10 to 11 passengers over a 3,282 nmi average range, with a $22.5 m mean price. Large jets Bombardier Challenger 600 Dassault Falcon 2000 er, Dassault Falcon 900 Embraer Legacy 600 and 650 They typically accommodate 13 to 14 passengers over a 4,001 NMI average range, with a $33.8 million mean price. At 102 in 259 centimeters, the G650ER has the widest cabin yet but should be joined by the Falcon 5X, a global 5000 G500 competitor and its replacement, and the 4500 nmi 8300 kilometers Citation Hemisphere in 2021 at 98 in 249 centimeters. The global 7000 and 8000 is wider than the 95 in 241 centimeters global 5000 and 6000 the same as the Gulfstream G500 G600 and the Canadair Challenger while the Dassault Falcon 8X is 92 in 234 centimeters wide and the G450 G558 in 224 centimeters including long range jets Dassault Falcon 7X 
Bombardier Global Express, 5,000 and 6,000th Gulfstream 4, G350, G450 Gulfstream 5, G500, G550 Gulfstream G650 er, they typically accommodate 13 to 19 passengers over a 6,419 nmi average range, with a $60.1 million mean price. VIP airliners Business airliner can be contracted as bizliner. Airliners converted into business jets are used by sports teams or VIPs with a large entourage or press corps. Such airplanes can face operational restrictions based on runway length or local noise restrictions. They can be the most expensive type of private jet as they provide the greatest space and capabilities. Aircraft of this class include Airbus corporate jets Boeing business jet Embraer lineage 1000 Topic See also Very light jet Air Taxi Association Air transports of heads of state and government Supersonic business jet equals equals notes <laughs>